What does high score mean? New high score, is that bad? What does that mean? Does I break it? Hello everyone and welcome to Veteran Gaming, I am Aaron. Tonight we're going to be talking about Eternal Evolution because there has been a recent announcement that there is going to be a new Triple S Vanguard hero coming to the game here in this next hero event. So let's go ahead and pull up the posting real quick and go ahead and talk about the new hero. So there it is, Dark Ent Barog, which I am for sure going to call Treebeard all the time, just like I call uh, Nafang Donkey Kong because... I mean, that dude's essentially Treebeard, right? Anyway, here we go. So here is the spiel from Eternal Evolution Developers. Triple S level Winfear Vanguard Hero. Coming soon. He can unleash vines at the enemy, dealing damage to all targets on the way, pulling the furthest target in his direction. So an AoE and a pull, pretty cool. His HP indicator is below a certain percentage. He's going to gain the Fury State, which increases attack speed, basic attacks, and skills. Gain Life Steal. So, has uh, some really cool stuff in the kit. Looks like it's going to be a really uh, strong hero. Says again, characteristics, rage, and forced teleportation. Overview, forced teleportation, bleed, and lifesteal. So, some pretty cool stuff coming with Barog. And I don't want the video to get a negative feel, but I do have a little bit of a reaction. And that reaction is mainly confusion. So as we pull up our list of heroes here, we go to all and we go to Vanguard. Here's our list of Vanguards, right? So we have in Winfear, we have Leo, we have Donkey Kong, and we have Crete. Two of which are triple S's. And then Donkey Kong, who is a very recent addition and a very powerful hero. Um, not a triple S, obviously, but very, very strong. So really, really great Vanguards here in the Winfear faction. And then across everybody else, we have Artis. Uh, for the Atlas, which, uh, not, meh, Donkey Kong's definitely better. And then we have, uh, Guan Yu, the, probably one of the most forgotten about triple S's in the game. Uh, tried to do some work with him recently. They've had one event for him since the game launched. Uh, so not a very popular character, kind of underwhelming. I think a lot of people end up going Leo and Crete and Na Feng, if they're going to run three Vanguards, just because Nafeng is a, a lot of support built into his kit, that'll really help out the monsters that can be Leo and Crete. So I'm very confused why this is Winfear. And it really kind of uh, snowballs with my confusion from the last event, where Atlas got another Triple S tank when they already had one, and they were getting Vegnus, who is an absolute monster of a tank, when the Winfear do not have a triple S tank and don't have anybody recent like Vegnus. So I guess I'm just kind of confused on why do we even, even have these factions if the factions aren't really kept level at all. I mean, Winfear have by far the best vanguards and really most of the other vanguards aren't even in consideration. Atlas now can run a full tank team on their own. Yeah, Pandemonium would be a great help in there from the Terrans, but, I mean, you could really run the new Womagon, Vegnus, and Zaida and have amazing results out of just that tank team. So I'm very confused on why they're putting the new Triple S Vanguard into the Windfear faction. Very, very confusing. Maybe there's a plan in the end. Maybe there's going to be extra bonuses for not only your class like Vanguard Tank, but also your faction like Winfear Atlas. I don't know. I'm just very confused on why Atlas got another Triple S tank when Winfears don't have one, and why Winfears are getting another Triple S Vanguard when they already have two. Very confusing. I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Does this kind of is this confusing to you? Do you not care? Am I way off beast here? Is there some lore I don't know about in the game that makes that make sense? Because right now, just a little bit of confusion, which is uh, right up there with uh, the anticipation of a new really strong hero coming to the game. So let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss upcoming content. And as always, guys, have fun. Good luck. So I got that going for me, which is nice.